Hello everyone, this is Shubhajit Guho, you are watching DG Classes. Today we are back with another topic of macroeconomics. So, if you are new to our channel, please like, share and subscribe our channel. So, our today's topic is types of income. In this video, we shall discuss about private, personal and personal disposable income. Let's start with private income. Private income can be defined as it is the total income earned by the private sector of a country from different sources. It, it suggests that it is the total income which the private sector uh, earned from various sources including transfer of payments whereas it is uh, NFIA that is net foreign income from abroad etc. Let's understand its components now. The first component is income from domestic product occurring to private sector. Private se uh, after selling the goods that is domestic products, the part of income that is go that goes to the private sector is calculated in the private income. The next one is net current transfer from government. That means government provides various type of subsidies and allowances which comes in the hands of the private sector. This is also calculated in the private income. The third one is net foreign income from abroad. This is the amount of money our private companies or private sectors earn from abroad. I have already discussed this in our earlier videos. So if you know, want to know about it, go and check, up, check the videos. Interest on national debt. Now private sector give provides <coughs> various types of loans to the government and the earning the interest earning from that is calculated in the private income the fifth and the last one is net current transfer from abroad like the transfer from government sector of the uh, home country various transfer of payments occur uh, from the government uh, from the various different countries also these incomes are calculated in the private income so if we add all these components we will get the net or total private income so now let us understand what is personal income personal income is basically a part of private income it can be defined as it is that part of private income in which, uh, which goes into the hand or hands of household sector that means this is that part of income which goes into the hands of normal people in the form of salaries, wages, etc. Now for finding this, we have to apply this formula that is personal income equal to private income minus corporation tax. This is one kind of tax which the business sector has to pay to the government. And we have to also deduct the retained profit. That it, retained profit uh, indicates that amount of money which any business sector uh, holds in hand for the development of the business. So for better understanding, let us take an example that a company earns profit of rupees 2000. Now, for, uh, now we, what we will do according to the formula, we will deduct corporation, uh, corporation tax. Let us uh, deduct that. Let us say the corporation tax is rupees 600 and the, uh, the uh, company will retain certain amount of profit that is rupees say 100 for the development purpose after deducting this we will have 1300 in the hands of the company okay this amount will be distributed among household sector and this amount is termed as personal income so this is it for personal income now let us understand the personal disposable income so after discussing the personal income now let us understand what is disposable personal income this is the ultimate amount of money that the household sector holds after paying all kinds of taxes to the government now this amount can be used for the consumption purpose as its definition suggests that it refers to the amount which the household ultimately holds in cash after paying personal taxes. For this purpose, we have a formula that is DPI that means 
disposable personal income equal to PR. That means personal income minus personal tax, which is indicated by PT. In our previous example, we have already uh, derived the personal income that was 1300. Let's say personal tax is 10% of its personal income. That is 130. After deducting 130 from 1300, we will get 1170. This is the ultimate disposable personal income and it is the amount which is spendable amount uh, to the household sector. So this is it for pers disposable personal income. So if you like our videos, please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.